1107 News. Now at 5, surveillance video captures the moment that an employee at a West Seattle smoke shop is robbed at gunpoint. We spoke with the man who says he is still shaken up after this experience. And we are taking a look right now at that satellite radar. We are getting quite a bit of lowland rain and even more mountain snow. A couple advisories to be mindful of are coming up in my full forecast. Scared about people that much where he wanted to talk about your vacation or how your family was doing. Plus, local and national reaction continues following the news that former President Jimmy Carter has begun receiving hospice care at his home. Good evening, I'm Dee Dee Sun. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tributes are now pouring in for the former president. As Cairo 7's Isabel Rosales reports in Plains, Georgia, Carter turned 98 years old last year and is the oldest living president. Lord, we'd be amiss this morning if we did not lift President Carter to you. Sunday morning in Plains, Georgia, it was packed for Sunday school at a service at Maranatha Baptist Church. This is where former President Jimmy Carter taught his traditional Sunday school in his hometown for years until his health forced him to give it up in 2020. On Saturday, the news came that the 98-year-old former president has decided to spend his remaining time at home with his family and to receive hospice care instead of additional medical intervention, according to the Carter Center. In 2015, former President Carter announced he had survived brain and liver cancer. In 2019, he had surgery for a broken hip and received 14 stitches after hitting his head. Then he was treated for a minor pelvic fracture before undergoing surgery to relieve pressure on his brain. I love you. In 2022, the Carters were seen out enjoying the 25th annual Peanut Festival Parade in Plains. They were seen riding in a red 1946 Ford convertible while waving at the crowd. Meanwhile, wishes for comfort and peace are pouring in on social media for the former president. Carter's grandson and former Georgia State Senator Jason Carter posted this tweet, saying in part he visited his grandparents and they are at peace. When I was sick, he sat with me for an hour. Whether you believe in his political persuasions or whatever you think, you know for a fact being here that they're genuine people that care. In Plains, Georgia, Isabel Rosales, Cairo 7 News. For now, still a lot of questions remain in what happens next with Carter's hospice care and the extent of his condition. An incredible second act. I would almost consider that the second part of his life. He was able to serve humanity. As the world waits for word on the fate of Jimmy Carter, it is a time of reflection, particularly for people impacted by the former president's advocacy. President Carter's name is almost synonymous with Habitat for Humanity. He began volunteering in 1984 with a Georgia-based charity that works with volunteers and those in need to build or repair homes. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Renton tonight. Deborah has advocacy really helped put this organization on the map. It absolutely did, Dee, Dee both here and around the world. In fact, I'm standing right in front of one of those projects here in Renton. The former president has never come to this state to volunteer, but his impact is still being felt. He's an incredible humanitarian, both he and his wife, incredible humanitarian. It is this that Amy Farrier is talking about. The devotion to charity by the nation's 39th president and former first lady, long after his single term in The Other Washington ended. And no organization has benefited more than Habitat for Humanity. Really led by example. I, I call that servant leadership. And I think that is, he epitomizes that. Farrier is the development director for Habitat in Seattle, King, and Kittitas counties. She says since he began working with the organization in 1984, Carter in some ways became synonymous with the charity's mission to create affordable housing for needy families, all while getting his own hands dirty. Such an incredible, heart-filled example of volunteers in the community doing good, and not only in you know one state or one community or one town, but both domestically and internationally. That work still being done in this state, in this community, in this town. Not started by a former president, but surely made far more important because he cared so much. What will you do without him? I don't think that can be replicated. I really, I think he is one of a kind, but an inspiration for others, an inspiration for the next generation. 
that next generation already hard at work. Now, while Mr. Carter has not volunteered for Habitat here in this state, he visited, has visited the Pacific Northwest numerous times, most often to sign and promote more one or two or three of the more than 30 books he has written. We're going to bring you that part of this story. We'll have that for you in about a half hour. For now, reporting live in Renton, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. An avid writer as well. Thank you, Deborah. We'll continue to follow former President Carter's condition, and we will have the latest updates on air and on our website, Cairo7.com. Heavy snow is about to slam Snoqualmie Pass. The winter storm warning starts now and will get even worse tomorrow. It's expected to make pass travel very difficult. And Washington is warning drivers, don't drive without the proper traction tires or chains on your vehicle. Crews don't want spun out vehicles blocking lanes of the pass like we've seen so many times. Going live now to the summit at Snoqualmie, you can see that oh, it looks like a winter wonderland over there. The ski lifts are still running at this hour. Kyra 7's Ranky Catafias in the Pinpoint Weather Center tracking the system and Frankie you are expecting feet of snow at the passes. Oh yeah some of our uh, mountain passes are certainly going to be getting at least a foot in the higher elevations getting a couple feet of snow in the next day or so. Here's a look at what's been playing out over the last four hours. I mean we've been getting quite a bit of some lowland rain throughout Everett, Seattle, Tacoma but you can already start to see where some of that more dense snowfall is happening. This is a peak a little further south at Mount Rainier from Crystal Mountain and we do have some snow on the camera but the condition Conditions not looking nearly as dramatic as they are up again towards the Snoqualmie Pass, Stevens Pass area. We have that winter storm warning in effect until 4 p.m. Tuesday. So everything above 2,000 feet is going to fall under this heavy snow and heavy wind gusts. The wind gusts are certainly going to be causing concerns for blowing snow, create visibility impacts. And I mean, having a 35 to 45 mile per hour wind is certainly not going to help with driving as well. Now, heading south towards Crystal Mountain and places surrounding, we are looking at a winter storm watch that's going into effect for tomorrow so we're kind of just giving you a little bit of a heads up heading into tomorrow it's tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning above 2,000 feet we'll see about 3 to 11 inches of fresh snow with those wind gusts again upwards to about 45 miles I'll have more details about what you can expect for the remainder of your long weekend and really heading into this work week we're going to have quite a bit of some weather changes here that you're definitely going to want to make note of so again stay with us so we can give you those updates and of course you can track the weather in your neighborhood with our pinpoint forecast at any time by downloading the Kyber 7 weather app. It is free in your app store. New at 5, Seattle police are looking for three men after they robbed a smoke shop in West Seattle. In this surveillance video, you can see an employee being held at gunpoint as the three apparently stole hundreds of dollars and merchandise. Kyber 7's Jake Chapman is live outside the Global Smoke and Vape Shop in West Seattle. And Jake, you spoke with the employee who was held at gunpoint. We did, Didi, and obviously they are still quite shaken up from this entire situation as they remember having a gun on their rib cage. And if you take a look at your screen right now, you can see the surveillance video of that man right there being held at gunpoint by three people, by three men, as they made their way to the register and stealing hundreds of dollars and hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise as well. And according to that employee, they took about 300 to 400 dollars from there. He also shared with me these photos from today of the damage left over from this robbery. You can see some products scattered on the the floor and a nearly empty register. We talked to neighboring businesses about this incident. The owner of the pizza place next door believes he saw one of those robbers run right by him last night as they got away. But the people who own the Missing Piece game store tell us they are familiar with this kind of situation since they were robbed last year when someone threw a hammer through their front door, breaking the glass as they made off with hundreds of dollars as well. And they believe this sort of crime is impacting the entire city. And the fact that there's people out there desperate enough to hold people up at gunpoint, like that speaks volumes to the kind of situation, especially that the last few years have brought us. It's like there are people that are this desperate, they're going to go steal card games and they're going to steal whatever they can get out of a smoke shop. Seattle police say they are still looking for the three men and a white sedan that they took off in. If you have any information on this case, you are urged to call SPD's Violent Crimes Tip Line, which we have their contact info on our website, Cairo7.com. But coming up in the next half hour, we continue to talk to neighboring businesses about the issues of robberies in the area and what they hope police can do to curb this sort of crime.
Live in West Seattle, Jake Chapman, Kyra 7 News. Yeah, big ongoing problem. Thank you, Jake. A serial bank robber is back behind bars in King County. He was previously convicted in 2012 and 2016 of multiple bank robberies each time. Nicholas J. Nelson was again arrested yesterday for another string of bank robberies. Investigators are still piecing together the exact number, but most recently he robbed banks in December, January, and earlier this month, stealing thousands of dollars in each incident. Prosecutors say he targeted banks in Redmond, Kenmore, and Issaquah. Police were able to connect a white Chevy Silverado he used in each incident to get away and track him down. Meanwhile, some people feel security at places like banks could improve. Though we have like a lot of security around the place and you know a lot of police pat patrolling happening every other time. Uh, so sad to hear this. Nelson remains at the King County Jail where his bond is set at $750,000. We will continue following this story and we will have the latest updates on air and on our Kyber 7 News app. Seattle police are investigating a carjacking and kidnapping in the Yesler Terrace neighborhood. Officers found a man with a cut on his head near Yesler Way and Broadway yesterday. Police say the victim reported two men held him at gunpoint, then stole his car, keys, and phone. The suspects forced that victim into the back of their red Toyota Corolla and drove to an unknown location. The victim was hit in the head with a gun but managed to escape when that car stopped. If you have any information about this incident, you are asked to call the violent crimes tip line with Seattle Police. The Seattle Fire Department is investigating a vacant building fire in the Lake City neighborhood. Crews from Seattle and Shoreline Fire responded just after midnight near Lake City Way Northeast and Northeast 145th Street. You can see in this video there is definitely some damage to the building. Seattle Fire says nobody was injured. A big opening weekend for Marvel's third Ant-Man movie. Coming up on Cairo 7 News at 5, the record-setting debut for the film. Plus, we all know running has benefits. But for one woman, it helped save her life. Still ahead, the journey that's dismantling the whiteness of long-distance running. And taking a peek at your pinpoint storm tracker scale for President's Day, putting it at a two with some pretty uh, notable weather concerns coming this way. I'll be breaking down what you can expect and where you can expect it up next. A crucial diabetes medicine is getting harder and harder to find. I called five different pharmacies in the area. Nobody had any. All because some doctors are prescribing it for weight loss. It's not approved for weight loss. I'll get to the bottom of the controversy of this very, very important drug. It's an important drug for my life. And how far people are willing to go to get it. We have created an international problem here. Monday at 5.30 on Cairo 7. Now is your chance for incredible savings during the President's Day sale at More Furniture. Get this oversized sectional with Chase featuring a full pullout sleeper for only $24.99. The six-piece, two-power reclining sectional featuring console with cup holders, USB ports, and storage is only $24.99. Relax in this two-power reclining sofa and console love seat featuring USB ports and storage for only $24.99. Enjoy incredible values at More Furniture. Take advantage of Pacific Heating and Cooling's 000 sale. 0% interest, zero payments now, zero money down. Say yes to a new comfort system this year. Buy now and pay in 2024 with Pacific Heating and Cooling at PacificHeatingCooling.com. Winter brings all kinds of weather, but a new Toyota is ready for anything. Including the stylish new Corolla that is so much fun to drive. With all the latest technology right at your fingertips. Or choose America's best-selling car, Toyota Camry. With all-wheel drive, you can handle whatever comes your way. Now during Toyota's all-weather drive season, get low 3.99 APR financing on a new Camry or Corolla. Plus two years no-cost maintenance. This winter, you can count on a new Toyota to pull you through. Toyota. Let's go places. Muckle shoot? Easy. It doesn't matter what you do or where you're coming from. What you do is all at Muckle shoot Casino. Let it roll. Muckle shoot has the most games in the Northwest. Pick your favorite. I'm sure it's you. The fun never stops. What you do is all at Muckle shoot. It's Rich's President's Day Sale. Tremendous savings, 10 to 40% off storewide, including fireplaces and stoves, featuring low pie and fireplace extraordinaire, electric, gas, wood, and pellet models. Savings end Monday at Rich's. Compassion, communication, and results. That's Pendergast Law. 
Check this out. New video out of Kansas is showing a small swarm of meteors streaking across the sky early this morning. You can see them right there low on the horizon on the bottom left of your screen. This is from the National Weather Service in Goodland in Kansas on the northwestern side of the state. Wow, pretty cool. And for the 31st straight time, a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie has debuted number one at the box office. David Daniel has early estimates for the top five films in theaters this weekend. I don't know what's going on here. Knock at the Cabin stayed in fifth place, scaring up $3.9 million. Puss in Boots' The Last Wish is at $168 million domestic, after a fourth place weekend worth $5.3 million. Magic Mike's Last Dance fell from first to third on ticket sales of $5.5 million. <laughs> Avatar The Way of Water made $6.1 million for second place and a domestic total of $658 million, passing Jurassic World for ninth place on the all-time list. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania opened big, $104 million, the best Ant-Man launch ever and the first $100 million debut this year. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniels. A new chicken restaurant called the Super Chicks is expected to open soon in Pierce County. And foodies say it is a close rival to Chick-fil-A. It'll be the chain's first restaurant to open in our state. The franchise owner told the Tacoma News Tribune that they expect to open in Fredrickson this May. Super Chicks was launched by KFC's parent company and has locations in Utah and Idaho, among others. The chain is already planning to next expand to Federal Way, Lacey, and in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. No complaints about another chicken restaurant, Frank. You know what? I lived in Idaho yeah. up until this past July and I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. Well it sounds pretty new because they only have a couple of locations but they're gonna hit it big here yes. Yeah well you know what I will be the first one to drive <laughs> into the Tacoma area to figure it out. Let's go. Let's um, do it. Let's become the chicken expert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the weather, too, while we're at it. So while we're thinking about food, we're only getting a couple places reading from some of our uh, rain totals since midnight. So Snoqualmie Pass has seen almost a half inch of rain since midnight. We've been seeing a tenth of an inch of or so over in Everett. And while no readings coming out of Port Angeles, and we're not getting anything out of the Seattle area. Temperatures right now are looking fair. We're sitting in the high 40s, 48 to be exact for Seattle. And that carries all the way through down into the south sound, pushing west. Now, we're seeing 46 for Bremerton and Forks, and if you were to head out further east, we're actually seeing the high 40s, low 50s out east as well. Wind speeds are looking a little notable. We're in the teens for Seattle. About a 15 mile per hour wind is coming out of the southwest. We have about a 10 mile per hour wind moving through Tacoma. And if you were to take a look what's happening between Wenatchee and Ellensburg, we're moving at about 24 to 32 miles per hour. Now that is nothing in comparison to what's happening towards the Admiralty Inlet. We're seeing that there is a high wind watch around the Admiralty Inlet. That's going into effect tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning. And we're going to be seeing that those wind speeds for that area are going to be up to 40 miles per hour with a gust upwards to about 60 miles per hour. Taking a look at the winter storm warning, not only are wind gusts going to be a factor, we're looking at gusts from about 35, 45 miles per hour, but we're also looking at some very heavy snow through the area. Upwards to about two or so feet could see a little less, closer to a foot around the passes, and higher elevations could see close to about three feet. So definitely going to make traveling difficult, especially if those are your plans heading into this long weekend. Your winter storm watch is going to pick up tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning for everything that you see here in blue. Similar conditions, it's going to sit above 2,000 feet this particular watch. 3 to 11 inches of new snow is expected with a wind gust of about 45 miles per hour. The wind is really trending across Washington for the next couple of days. A wind, high wind warning goes into effect for everything that you see in this mustard yellow from 7 p.m. tonight until about 10 a.m. on Monday. We're going to see that the sustained winds are coming from the west at about 40 to 50 miles per hour with the wind gusts upwards to about 60 miles per hour and it doesn't end there if we head up towards Ellensburg area you can see everything in tan just kind of coupled in with this winter storm warning we have a wind advisory and the winds are going to look a little less aggressive than the high wind watch but still strong nevertheless 30 to 40 miles per hour out of the west with a 50 mile per hour wind gust this is going to be until 10 o'clock this evening 
All of that to be said, winds this strong could definitely warrant some debris to fly around, down trees, power lines could blow over, and we could also experience some power outages. So make sure you're planning accordingly and just kind of have it in the back of your mind in the event that happens tonight through tomorrow evening, even into Tuesday morning. Now for the remainder of your week, here's a look at what to expect. We are going to see a change in our wind, so onshore flow increases. Windy for today or for tomorrow, we'll see that we're going to have a shift. Fraser River outflow bringing Arctic air down south, and that drops our temperatures in into the 30s and takes any precipitation we can have Wednesday morning, bringing it to snow for sea level areas. Oh boy, thanks Frankie. We know food prices are high and we want to help. We are giving away a $300 grocery gift card every weekday. Tomorrow, watch Cairo 7 News in the morning around 6 a.m. Look out for the code word and enter for your chance to win. For official rules and more information, visit Cairo7.com slash groceries. So many people deal with back pain and finding a solution can be challenging. But Shannon Lanier is here with a product that could give you some relief in today's Steals and Deals. I know I can't be the only one who's ever experienced back pain. Well, luckily I have this calming heat back wrap because I hurt my back working out, trying to be like the rock in the gym. Don't do it. Trust me. But luckily I have this to help me. This is pretty cool because it is triple therapy. It has Heat has vibration and lower lumbar support. It's pretty easy. All you got to do, take this little thing. Look at this long cord, by the way. It stretches all over the place. I just plug it right in. I like the long cord because sometimes I like watching TV, cooking while I'm actually wearing it. And I can get on with my busy life and not have to worry about being attached to anything. So I wrap this up, put it tight, put it on. I like the heat, keeps you warm, and it helps almost like a heating pad, but you know, my heating pad never stays still. It's always moving around. This straps to me so I can walk around with my heating pad, throw that vibration on. Oh, I like that. And then when I put the lower lumbar support button on, it like inflates in the back here and it makes you sit up straight and have good posture and all that good stuff. So this is great for several different reasons. You got to try it out. This is a great gift too because I know my wife's always complaining about her back pain from childbirth. Even though the child is seven years old now, that's beside the point. Check this out. 35% off. Locusteals.com is where you can get it while I enjoy my back massage. <laughs> All you want is everything. All over boats and horses, eh? George, trains ain't great either. You know what I long for these days? Road trip. Celebrate President's Day at West Hills Autoplex. Receive presidential savings on both new and pre-owned vehicles. Stop by to enter to win a $50 gas card and portable Bluetooth speaker. Join us President's Day weekend, February 17th through the 20th, for the West Hills Autoplex President's Day sales event. I love West Hills with their great selection and value. Yee-haw! At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile. The way it makes you look and feel. The way a smile lights up a room. So people can see the best version of you. Which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone. So you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more. Or visit AffordableDentures.com. Go ahead and smile. I've been here for like three hours. I've been here for three weeks. Really? How does anyone sell a house around here? Are you sure our home's gonna sell? Watch this. Selling with Redfin gets your home in front of more buyers, so you sell for more. Plus, you'll save thousands when you work with us. Oh, what does this button do? We just sent your listing to all those buyers. Why doesn't everybody use Redfin? Hey, have you seen this TikTok family pairing thing? Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of settings we can customize. So, like... So, Sean is friends be like... Okay, so I'm thinking 40 minutes of screen time a day. And Sean was all like, what? I think 60 is fair. Or you know how Ricky pulls those sick solos? Well, his dad's like, these are sick, but they're only sick for you and your friends. Or you could be like, I'm extending your screen time, son. And your curfew. I don't sound like that. Do I sound like that? I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. 
During the Les Schwab Founders Celebration Sale, save up to $150 instantly on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Hospital bills are often a surprise, and not the good kind. But you may also be surprised to learn that you can get 50, 75, or even 100% off those bills. Thanks to a new law, there's a good chance you're one of the 4 million Washingtonians who qualify. Whether or not you have health insurance, the law requires hospitals provide the care you need at an affordable cost. So ask your hospital or visit affordablehospital.wa.gov to see if you're eligible. Best Plumbing is the best way to quality repairs and services. Running saved her life, and now one Snohomish County woman says she is using running to potentially save and improve other lives. Allison Desir is all too familiar with the concept of running while black, when minorities face questioning or discrimination when running for exercise. She spoke with Cairo 7's Ranji Sinha about her advocacy here in Seattle that is now taking her around the country in this week's Western Washington Gets Real. On the one hand, running saved my life. It has transformed my life and given me everything good in my life. But on the other hand, it comes with a set of risks. If running brings freedom for Alison Desir, it comes with a cost. It whisked her away from depression. I went from my couch to my bed, back to my couch. I spent most of my time on social media just watching people live their best lives. Um, scrolling. scrolling, doom scrolling. But she quickly ran into running while black, the discrimination that is often a footfall away. Everything from getting funny looks, right, which um, is a subtle way of signifying that you don't belong, um, to people questioning um, where you're going or are you lost. In a sport that can be the ultimate solitary practice, emptying your mind, sealing out the world, especially in the modern era of headphones, Alison Desir has always had a double consciousness about running. It's liberating but frightening. Will I make it home after this run? Well, do you see what I'm wearing, right? I think a big part of it is I would never go running in a hoodie and sweats. She decided to make space for people like her. She's part of many groups promoting running to minority communities. But Seattle Running Collective is the group she's spearheaded in Washington. Running is hard enough. On top of that, you have to think about what other people are thinking about you. So I want people to start running. I want people to know that the outdoors are for them. She was inspired by seeing a black man in the U.S. train for a marathon. Black people don't run marathons unless they're Ethiopian, Kenyan. Recruiting runners to tackle running while black also came in the wake of the Ahmad Arbery case. February 23rd marks three years since the 25-year-old black man was chased down, shot, and killed by three men while out for a run. The men were convicted of murder, and the case inspired Desir to write her book. In Ahmad, I saw my son. I saw that at some point in my son's life, he too could be murdered for doing something mundane as going for a run. Her books have seen a lot more people express interest in her, her efforts, and Seattle Running Collective. Formed in January 2022, it saw local running clubs come together to make running more diverse and inclusive. It is resisting um, the fear of, of not going outside. It's resisting the narrative that we don't do this. Zier has six marathons under her belt, giving her some actual mileage to give her running cred. Running while black is a serious concern, but Desir does say running can overcome with a huge selling point. It can be fun. If it weren't fun, we wouldn't be doing it, right? Running is, of course, very challenging, but there's something so beautiful about um, pushing your body. For Western Washington Gets Real, Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News. And still ahead on Cairo 7 News at 5.30, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell will be giving his State of the City address this week, the topics he's expected to discuss. Plus, new used car prices are set to rise again. How much prices have jumped in just the last two weeks? Stay with us. One Prilosec OTC each morning blocks heartburn all day and all night. Prilosec OTC reduces excess acid for 24 hours, blocking heartburn before it starts. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. Ma, ma, ma. <clears throat> for fast sore throat relief, try Vicks Vapor Cool Drops with two times more menthol per drop and the powerful rush of Vicks Vapors for fast acting relief you can feel. Vicks Vapor Cool Drops, fast relief you can feel. 
It's Rich's President's Day Sale. Tremendous savings up to 40% off store-wide, including all Coast Swim Spas and Hot Tubs. Now as low as $39.99. Relax, exercise, play all year round. Savings end Monday at Rich's. For a limited time only, get a new John Deere 1023E compact utility tractor with a 120E loader for only $199 per month. Take advantage of this exclusive offer for low monthly payments on top-of-the-line equipment that gets the job done, backed by our consistent quality customer service. Hurry in to your local Pape Machinery, Ag, and Turf store today to cash in on these limited time offers and get your property ready for the spring ahead. Pape keeps you moving. There's a new tax refund called the Working Families Tax Credit from the Washington State Department of Revenue. Those who qualify could get up to $1,200 back. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Create a bedroom sanctuary during the President's Sale at More Furniture. Get this beautiful solid wood four-piece bedroom with padded headboard for only $19.99. Maximize your space with this contemporary bedroom with storage bed and two color options for only $19.99. Or choose this classic bedroom with artisan crafted details for only $19.99. No matter what your style, More Furniture has the right looks at the right price. Visit morefurniture.com to preview all the President's Day sale specials. Get some groceries on us. Eggs, milk, even bread. You shouldn't have to break the bank to get the basics. We know food prices are high and Cairo 7 wants to help. We are giving away a $300 grocery gift card every weekday. Watch Cairo 7 News in the morning around 6 a.m. and watch for me to give the code word. Then log on to Cairo7.com slash groceries for your chance to enter and win. Right now on Cairo 7 News. Tonight, we're continuing to follow reactions pouring in for former President Jimmy Carter. The 98-year-old, who is the oldest living U.S. president, is in hospice care at his home. Good evening. I'm Dee Dee Sun. This morning in Plains, Georgia, at uh, Maranatha Baptist Church, the congregation prayed for former President Carter. Mr. Carter and his wife, Rosalind, attended the church in his hometown, and the former president taught Sunday school there. One lifelong resident, Michael Dominic, is touching up the famous Smiling Peanut statue. It is a roadside attraction of this Smiling Peanut, built to support Carter during his 1976 presidential campaign. We're all family men, and Mr. Jimmy's right in there with us, but he, he, he just does anything for anybody when he could. Today, President Joe Biden tweeted to former President Carter and his family saying, quote, We admire you for the strength and humility you have shown in difficult times. May you continue your journey with grace and dignity, and God grant you peace. The former president came to Washington State many times. Most often, he was promoting a book he had written. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Renton, and Deborah, he also came on at least two occasions for a nuclear submarine that bears his name. DB, in fact, the USS Jimmy Carter is actually based here in western Washington. A fitting tribute, I suppose, and I'm sure, for the 1943 graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. In fact, the last time the former president was here for the Seawolf class fast attack submarine that bears his name was in 2015. Then he took part in a change of command ceremony at Naval Base Kitsap Bangor. He was incredibly 90 years old then, and he visited this state many other times, usually to promote one of the 30-plus books he has written. But he will likely be remembered even more for his work, along with the former First Lady, with Habitat for Humanity in this country and abroad. He has been involved with Habitat since 1984 and has really been one of our chief humanitarians, essentially, serving as our primary ambassador and we've been very grateful for that. That work continues today, the evidence of it here in Renton. This project has been going on for at least two years, housing for low-income borrowers who might never be able to afford their own home, being given that chance through their own sweat and that of many volunteers. In fact, that is what people say most about this former president. He didn't just support Habitat Humanity with money, with dollars, which he could have. He supported it with his own very 
very hard work. And, of course, that is what people are thinking about as they think about him and his family during this difficult time. Reporting live in Renton, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. Thank you, Deborah. Going live now to the Seattle waterfront, you can see quite a beautiful sunset emerging this evening after a cloudy and misty and drizzly day. And Cairo 7's Frankie Catafias in the Pinpoint Weather Center right now. And Frankie, such a pretty view before uh, some more troubling weather comes our way. I think troubling is the appropriate <laughs> term to use. It really doesn't matter where you're going to be, lowlands or highlands, uh, or anywhere in between. Certainly we are going to see a big change up in that weather pattern occurring tonight. Here's just a taste of what we've been getting over the last four or so hours. I mean, no shortage in some of that lowland rain really favoring just the surrounding Puget Sound areas. And we're seeing that mountain snow really starting to fall just adjacent to the Snohomish, King County, Pierce County area. Now, this is a peak, a sneak peek at what you can expect between now and 1130 tomorrow evening in regard to some of the new precipitation we're expecting. For Seattle, we're looking at about a half inch of rain to accumulate. And along the coast, we'll be just below that. If you look a little further east into those Cascade areas, this is taken into consideration, obviously, some of the snow as well, but we'll be well up to about an inch and three quarters in many places and above that even and most. And not only are we expecting a pretty healthy serving of some precipitation, but we are also anticipating some very strong winds. This is a look at about 545 this evening where those wind gusts will be. And as we kind of just keep a close eye and pinpoint where some of the wind gusts are going to be hitting the hardest, it will be getting eventually the Admiral to inlet, but really east of the Cascades is where we're seeing a majority of our activity. In fact, it's going to be going into Monday evening that we start to see those 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts where we have some of those wind advisories. The winds will be hitting their peaks by about 1030 tomorrow evening, and this is coming ahead again of some very strong weather coming. We have some offshore flow, Fraser winds, all of that will be broken down in further detail coming up a little later. A lot of color on the map. Thanks, Frankie. And this week, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell is expected to touch on crime and public safety during his state of the city address. He's also expected to give updates on several initiatives, including One Seattle. And that plan was announced last year and aims to build a comprehensive plan for how Seattle can be more equitable, affordable, and climate resilient. His speech is set for noon on Tuesday. Now at 5.30, Seattle police are looking for three men seen in this surveillance video after they robbed a smoke shop in West Seattle. You can also see an employee held at gunpoint as the three apparently stole hundreds of dollars and other merchandise. Cairo 7's Jake Chapman is live outside of that smoke shop in West Seattle. And Jake, that employee certainly shaken up, but this incident also brings back troubling memories for neighbors. Exactly. Davey, the co-owner for Missing Piece, the game store you see right behind me, tells me that they're familiar with this kind of situation because their store was robbed last summer when a guy threw a hammer at the front door, shattering all the glass, stealing hundreds of dollars, even games inside. But as we mentioned at 5, we talked to that employee in that surveillance video who was robbed at gunpoint. He's obviously still shaking up about this entire thing. As you can see right here on your screen, these three men robbing the smoke shop here in West Seattle, making their way to the register and stealing hundreds of dollars even taking off with hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise as well. Now, the employee also shared these photos you're about to see of what's left over of all of this. We see scattered products on the floor and hardly a dime left in that register. We mentioned at 5, the owner of the Pizza Mart next to the smoke shop believes he saw one of the robbers run right by his store. But each business owner we caught with tells us this sort of crime rather is clearly getting out of hand in the city. Not only do they hope police catch these guys, but they would like to see more patrol in this area as well as quicker response times from SPD because right now they feel like all small businesses in town are an easy target for this. You know, it pains me to hear that any, anyone over here is, is dealing with that kind of thing. Like if it was the smoke shop or the, the salon that's right next to them, like, or, or the pizza place that's between the two of us, any of us, that sounds terrifying. And Seattle police are still looking for the three men as well as a white sedan they believe was involved in getting away. And if you have any information on this case, you are urged to call SPD's Violent Crimes Tip Line. And we have their contact information on this story on our website, Cairo7.com. Live in West Seattle, Jake Chapman, Cairo 7 News. Thank you, Jake.
It's new at 5.30. You might soon be paying more money for a used car. Wholesale prices for used cars being sold at auction have risen sharply in the last few weeks. According to Mannheim, prices jumped 4% in just the last two weeks. That is an unusually large increase in such a short period of time. And the jump also caught industry insiders by surprise. Before this spike, you might remember, prices were decreasing after a shortage of new car inventory helped drive both new and used car prices to record levels last year. Tesla is recalling nearly 363,000 cars equipped with experimental driver assistance software, also called full self-driving. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the feature can cause crashes. Tesla will release an over-the-air software update to fix this problem. The affected vehicles include the 2016 through 2023 Model S and Model X, the 2017 through 2023 Model 3, and the 2020 to 2023 Model Y vehicles. In this week's Around the Sound, featuring local businesses and events, Cairo 7's Niku Kazori shows you how to enjoy downtown Seattle while also learning about the city's history. And it has hotels and museums teaming up to make your staycation plans a little easier. You know, people come and they say, I remember that, but I never knew about that. And they suddenly have this big new picture on the community that we call home. Rediscover Seattle or learn new surprises. It doesn't matter if you're local or tourist. Seattle Museum Month is for everyone. It's simple. Stay at participating hotels and get a half-off pass for up to four people at a variety of museums. It's good for um, folks that are in town uh, to do something more than just the, the standard uh, uh, spots, local spots. Uh, again, it just focuses on some of our history and uh, for local people as well. A lot of people uh, that live in the area don't really know about uh, some of the things that have made uh, Seattle a great place to live in and so it's, it's nice to be able to point people in uh, those directions. Seattle Museum Month runs through the end of February. There are 26 museums to choose from, everything from Mopop and the Museum of Flight to the Aquarium and even the Woodland Park Zoo. The Museum of History and Industry is where we stop to get an inside look at this promotion. I like to tell people that if you want to visit Seattle and really know where you are, start your visit at the Museum of History and Industry because we're all about the Seattle story. This community has had a rich history for thousands of years and is making history today and we tell that story at Mohai. So why not have a little staycation? There are over 50 participating downtown hotels to choose from. If you have guests visiting, the museum is a great alternative to local hotspots crowded with tourists. It's been really exciting because you wouldn't think of Seattle in February as being the ideal time to visit. We've had lots of visitors from all over the country and really around the world who are coming to Seattle, they're visiting Mohai, they're discovering our history, and then they're going out and visiting other museums. And just in time, there's a new exhibit rolling out this month. It's called From the Ground Up. It's actually a look at black architects here in Seattle and around the world, this wonderful perspective on design through the eyes of black architects. Brand new, opened up for Seattle Museum Month, which is also Black History Month. Double the reason to come and discover our history at Mohai. Half the month is gone, and you have less than two weeks to take advantage of this offer. Head to seattlemuseummonth.com and plan your vacation with a dose of history and fun. In Seattle, Niku Kazori, Cairo 7 News. So many options. And coming up, a full Sunday of sports, including hockey, basketball, and the return of the XFL Sea Dragons. Chris Francis has early highlights from their season opener in Washington, D.C. That's next in sports. And we are tracking some of the weather threats coming as a result of some of the rain and snow. I'll have more details about what you can anticipate for your long weekend up next. When you need to know, Cairo 7 News is here. Washington State Patrol wants you to be on the lookout for scammers selling fake gold. They're flagging you down and saying that their vehicles broke down, they need money for gas. So far in 2023, the majority happened right here in Snohomish County. Someone was taken for $4,000. Gary, you actually saw one of these deals happen in real time. They had chains and rings and there were children in the car. That's part of the scam. Watch Cairo 7 News at 4, 5, and 6. Pemco, defender of your Northwest. Drive good means getting outside. 
for a nice drive, but also a nice hike. That's why we're partnering with Washington Trails Association and giving a complimentary membership with every new Honda because the best way to get to the trail is in a Honda. Hit the trails in a new 2022 Honda Pilot with low 1.9% financing or lease one for just $3.99 a month. Stop by your local Honda dealer today and drive good. New Little Caesars Deep Dish Dippers are dipping delicious and perfect for sharing. It's a large deep dish cut into 20 pieces with crispy, cheesy, caramelized edges, four different toppings to choose from, and two dipping sauces. We'll dip to that. Feed the whole dipping crew for $10.99. Pizza, pizza. Thanks, Celeste Flotties. I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During the Les Schwab Founders Celebration Sale, save up to $150 instantly on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Can you save water using a less than full dishwasher? We do it every night. Do it with Cascade Platinum Plus. One load of dishes in the sink uses 24 gallons of water, while a dishwasher uses less than full per cycle. So do it with Cascade, the surprising way to save water. We used to struggle with greasy messes. Now, we just free wipe. And we're done. With Mr. Clean, Clean Freak, conquering messes is that easy. Clean Freak's mist is three times more powerful, and it works on contact. Clean Freak, just freak, wipe, done. Calling all locals. This February, participate in Pike Place Market's Energize Your Work Week contest. Show us how you eat, shop, meet, and rejuvenate at the market for chances to win weekly prizes and be entered to win a grand prize dinner for six at Shama Restaurant. Details at pikeplacemarket.org. <laughs> Defender of your Northwest. All right, many of you maybe have a four-day weekend or just perhaps a three-day weekend as a result of President's Day tomorrow. And if that's the case, a couple things you need to know, or maybe if you don't have the holiday, things you need to know, whether you have a morning commute or you're trying to commute maybe into the mountains to enjoy your weekend. We have lowland rain and heavy mountain snow continuing into tomorrow. We have strong westerly winds with gusts upwards to about 50, 60 miles per hour over the next day or two. And then Fraser River outflow, that's the Arctic winds coming from Canada moving south. That's going to be dropping our temperatures and the snow levels to near sea level come midweek. So quite a bit of things happening. And as a result, I mean, it only makes sense that, of course, we have some weather threats to be mindful of. The high wind watch is what we're going to start with, though. And that's for the Admiralty Inlet. You can see everything that's in this goldish yellow color is impacted. We will have winds from 30 to 40 miles per hour out of the west, 60 mile per hour winds through the area. And this goes into effect tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning. Taking a look at what's happening at a little bigger picture, we have a winter storm warning for everything that you see here in so obviously it's most of the Cascades and some of the valley floors spilling out on each side. That's going to be into effect until about 4 p.m. Tuesday. So we are actively under that winter storm warning. This is going to be for elevations, though, primarily above 2,000 or so feet. So again, impacting some of our, uh, our Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass areas. We're going to be seeing snow could reach up to two, one, two feet, maybe three, if you're up in even the higher elevations, above 3,500 feet. And we'll have those wind gusts moving at about 35, 40 five miles per hour as well. The wind is just not giving up. It is relentless and it's also going to be a factor for the winter storm watch that for everything that we're seeing here in blue that goes into effect for tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning above 2000 feet. Three to 11 inches of new snow is expected for again the areas that we see covered here in blue and the gusts will be upwards to about 45 miles per hour. Heading a little further inland towards the east we're looking at a high wind warning so everything you're seeing in this goldish yellow color is going to have a western wind a sustained speed of 40 50 miles per hour with those gusts upwards to 60 miles per hour that goes into effect tonight at 7 p.m. through 10 a.m. on Monday now just a reminder that some of these higher wind speeds are definitely going to be impacting potentials for power outages and down trees then with the well the winds being strong they're going to get colder Fraser River outflow drops the temperatures into the 30s and that also drops the snow levels like I said any precipitation in the area dropping bringing snow around Wednesday now Chris I know there's a couple of sporting events that are happening now and will be happening. Hopefully they're not looking as messy as the forecast this week. 
Uh, actually, not, not in town, Frankie, so that's good news. We're going to start with uh, Sunday College Hoops. The Cougs taking care of business against Washington last week and Oregon State on Thursday. So hoping, like every team, to peak come tournament tonight, time. Today, another step in, in the right direction, at least so far. Muhammad Gay with the dunk and the follow against Oregon. And then Jabe Mullins from Snoqualmie with a nice move under the hoop. Yeah, he's not going over the hoop, but nice move anyway. Cougs led by one pretty even first half. In fact, pretty even game at this point so far. Look at T.J. Bamba streaking in for the dunk. Right now it's tied at 59 in the second half midway through. So we'll have an update for you in about an hour. If you haven't heard, the XFL is back. Uh, so new we're still sporting the old logos behind us here. Uh, they look similar, though. The Dragons, uh, orange helmets, green trim, entirely new roster and coaching staff, however. This is the new XFL. Today, the opener of a 10-game season in Washington, D.C., a good opening drive for the Dragons. Jacor Pearson catching the Ben DiNucci pass, and then two plays later, a fantastic scramble by DiNucci here. The former Dallas Cowboy looks a lot like Patrick Mahomes here, getting the ball to former Seahawk Josh Gordon in the end zone. So it was 6 nothing Dragons. They built a 9 nothing lead. The D.C. defenders have just scored. So we're in the second quarter now of a very close game. We'll see what happens there. Two straight for the Kraken and counting. And tomorrow down in Cali, they'll look to keep it going against the San Jose Sharks. It's the first dads and mentors trip for the team. An NHL tradition. Yeah, look at all those dads in the crowd. Two guys in particular put on a show last night uh, against the Red Wings. Jordan Eberle had two goals and an assist, and Matty Beneers had two assists, and he was a playmaker all night. Uh, the dads were loving it. You throw in Philip Grubauer's 21 saves, a perfect way to get the event started. At morning skate, before last night's game, we got a chance to speak with Matty and his dad, Bob, about what it means to spend some time together as a group. He was pretty big, pretty influential in mine. Um, you know, he coached me for... 10 years about 10 years so when I was growing up um, so yeah he was you know driving me to practice every what Tuesday Thursday games on the weekend all over going to Canada Buffalo all these different places is everybody else yeah, jealous that you get to come on this trip? <laughs> oh, absolutely. My wife is, she's already, I think she's emailing everybody asking when the mother's in Buffalo. So, so, yeah, yeah, she's, um, yeah, and my daughter's already writing a letter as well asking when, when the siblings when's are the coming. Siblings? She, saw yeah. the Bruins, she, she yeah. saw the Bruins trip and she was like, when's our sibling trip? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Matt, he's got plenty more trips to go. Of course, every father and son has a different story. It is the first dad's trip. For the guys, uh, for those two anyway, and you heard, we heard from Jordan Eberle as well. He's been in the league 13 years. He has done this before, and so has his dad, Darren, and they went a little deeper into their relationship. You might not know that he thinks he's a good guitar player, <laughs> but, but the worst part about it is he's learning to sing, and so his thing is not, so I play guitar, and so that's the one thing I'm actually better than he is in guitar, and so I like to rub that in. You get to uh, know a lot about your teammates through their dad, especially if you know they walk in, you can usually pick out whose dad is who, just there's little things you can get, but um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing is it kind of brings your team together, you guys get to, and some guys have, you know, mentors here, they have brothers, they have uh, father-in-laws, it doesn't matter, so it, it, for the biggest thing is it just brings your group together, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you won't be surprised to know that both those dads coached their sons uh, and they're NHLers, so they did a great job. Uh, all right, the Sounders, one week away from their season opener, but there's been a lot of off-field news uh, for the team as well, uh, starting with the new TV deal with Apple, and they're breaking ground on a new training facility at Long Acres. And Friday, they introduced their new president of business operations, Hugh Weber, who's going to be in charge of all these projects as well as growing the game in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, and the World Cup's coming to Seattle. Uh, Weber takes the reins from Peter Tomazawa, and he's got experience running the New Jersey Devils, the Philadelphia 76ers, and an EPL franchise, uh, Crystal Palace, all of which, all of those skills are going to be needed here. If the team wasn't who it was, I, we, I wouldn't be sitting here. But if it were not for, you know, the stuff that, that we're going to chew, to your point, I, I love big, complicated puzzles. And right now, this feels like a lot, in it, but you know what? Um, building high-performance teams who tackle big, crazy ideas is what I love, and that's what I hope we can do here. All right, on the pitch, the team is ready for a successful season. They're 14th in MLS 
It's kind of a redemption tour here. The goal is to get back to the playoffs after missing out for the first time last season. Uh, coach has ramped up training, building toward that opener one week from now at home against Colorado. Right now, the important thing for us is to start the MLS season strong, so our focus is there. The messaging is there. We'll deal with League's Cup. We'll, leave with, we'll deal with Open Cup as they come up. But we have to have a strong performance to open the season up, and then you know we'll tackle those other problems when they come. All right, speaking of problems, how about the Great American Race, the Daytona 500? Only six total cautions in the first 198 laps which isn't that many, but then they went to overtime, and there's a caution right away. About a dozen cars getting caught up after Austin Dillon wrecked. Uh, that meant they had to do the green-white checkered finish all over again. Now, watch the five car in the middle there. He's going to start a mess. Yep, and there's the second caution. In overtime, two big wrecks, just one lap after the first restart, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was leading when that second caution came out. He beat Joey Logano to the line. Stenhouse takes his, fir Stenhouse takes his first Daytona 500 snapping a 199 race winless streak okay a little more serene the final round of the genesis tigers tournament tough day for tiger today except for this long birdie putt finish with a 73 so tied for 45th for tiger max homa got close to the win actually tied for the lead won the farmers open three weeks ago but man this day belonged to spaniard john rom the long birdie putt here on 14 40 five feet away it curls and goes into the cup that allowed him to retake the lead from homa and he followed that with a magnificent shot on the par 3 16th this one nearly went in for an ace instead it was close enough for an easy tap in birdie for rom he jumps right next to the hole rom shot a 69 wins his third tournament of the year and retakes the number one ranking in the world as predicted yesterday i know it wasn't a tough call because he's He's great. Uh, more on this, you can go to Kyra7.com slash sports. More on the Sounders and the Kraken and the XFL's Dragons. Yeah, my favorite there. part was the dads talking about. Oh, that's yeah. the best. <laughs> that There's the best, so many stories. It? I can't get it all in the air. <laughs> yeah. It's so much. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks, Chris, and we'll be right back. I've been here for like three hours. I've been here for three weeks. Really? How does anyone sell a house around here? Are you sure our home's going to sell? Watch this. Selling with Redfin gets your home in front of more buyers, so you sell for more. Plus, you'll save thousands when you work with us. Oh, what does this button do? Uh, we just sent your listing to all those buyers. Why doesn't everybody use Redfin? Cleaning is the worst. Seriously, there's got to be a better way. So we gave Swiffer a shot. If we don't love it, we get our money back. Spoiler alert, love it. Sweeper's heavy-duty dry cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than my broom that can push it around. It even gets into hard-to-clean grooves and grout lines. Cool. And Swiffer Duster gets in all those hard-to-reach places, trapping three times more dust. <laughs> yeah, switching a Swiffer, totally worth it. Love it or your money back. It's often called one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Majestic, breathtaking, awe-inspiring. It's the place of the plains. A living room of glaciers, a land of giants, a land of culture and tradition. It's where the unexpected and the unforgettable are part of every day. It's a place also known as Alaska. Plan your trip at TravelAlaska.com. The President's Day Sale is on this holiday Monday at More Furniture for Less. Right now is a great time to find amazing pricing storewide on the furniture you need for every room in your home. Our newest 2023 styles have arrived and are all on sale. Our most popular styles are in stock and on sale. Get the furniture you've been waiting for at incredible values. This President's Day Monday with special hours from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Only at more furniture for less. Is your house frustratingly cold? Here's some good news. You can upgrade to our high-efficiency foam insulation, and the federal government will pay up to 30% of the cost in the form of an energy tax credit. Our foam keeps the cold air out. 
your warm air in with lower energy costs all year long. And again, the energy tax credit covers up to 30% of the cost. Our schedule is filling fast, so call now and get in ahead of everyone else. It's time to stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. Oh, oh the boats and horses, eh? George, trains ain't great either. You know what I long for these days? Road trip. Celebrate President's Day at West Hills Autoplex. Receive presidential savings on both new and pre-owned vehicles. Stop by to enter to win a $50 gas card and portable Bluetooth speaker. Join us President's Day weekend, February 17th through the 20th, for the West Hills Autoplex President's Day sales event. I love West Hills. With their great selection and value. Bernard Law Group. Why settle for less? 800-690-1000. Coming up tonight in primetime on CBS at 8, the Equalizer, at 9, East New York, at 10, NCIS Los Angeles, and the night wraps up with Cairo 7 News at 11. It's that time of year. McDonald's two green treats for St. Patrick's Day are almost here. The company says the Shamrock Shake will be back tomorrow in U.S. menus. It was first sold in 1970, and the newer version, the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry, will also be available. Have you tried that one, Frankie? No, but it no. sounds like my speed. Yeah, I know. We were just talking about mint chocolate chip yesterday. It sounds like <laughs> my speed as well. Chris, how about you? Are you a Shamrock I'm a regular man? regular chocolate chip. All ice right. Cream. Yeah. Really? Plain bagel in the morning, regular chocolate chip know, for a treat. <laughs> it's, it's people like Chris who keep the world going round. Uh, here's a look right now at your uh, weekend forecast. I mean, many of you might have the extended weekend. Just anticipate rain and wind Monday, Tuesday, with much colder winds coming Wednesday to bring sea level snow our way. Lots going on. All right, thanks, and we'll see you back here at 6.30. Cairo 7 News is live, local, in-depth, 24-7. Log on to Cairo7.com and download the Cairo 7 News and Weather apps. A crucial...